What's up guys, it's Moon Collectibles again, and I am back with another video review. Today I will be reviewing the newly released Sailor Moon Crystal Figuarts Zero figure. This thing was just released over the weekend, and I just got mine in the mail yesterday afternoon. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and start this review. So yeah, let's start this video review off by looking at the packaging. My first thoughts are of the packaging, it is absolutely beautiful. And it's definitely a newer and more unique approach as opposed to the classic figure art Sailor Moon figures packaging. And you can check that out on my channel here as well. Um, so yeah, um, here at the top you have the figure art Zero logo. You have Sailor Moon's transformation brooch from the uh, manga. And then you have the Sailor Moon 20th anniversary logo which is also on a lot of the new merchandise. Down here you have Pretty Guardian, printed in pink, and then you have this nice crescent moon with the star and some nice flowery details. And on both sides here you have some nice pink ribbons with some, I think these are like uh, beads or something hanging down. They kind of look like beads or pearls or something. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but that's what they look like to me. And then here you have the... Sailor Moon Crystal logo, and then here you have Sailor Moon in English, and Sailor Moon Crystal in Japanese there. And then you have the Toei Animation uh, sticker, the um, official seal of authenticity, showing you that it is a uh, official item. Then you have the Bandai logo, and then you have the Tamashii Nations logo. On the side here you have another display window and you have some more of the beads up here and then you have some more ribbon right here, a rose, and then you have Sailor Moon and the Figure Arts logo and that is also the same on this side. On the back we have a really nice um, collage of some of the promotional images shown uh, or used for the figure whenever they were um, going up for pre-order or when they were on the sites. You have some stars up here at the top and you have the Figure Art Zero logo up here with some stars coming down. And then down here you have Sailor Moon and Sailor Moon Crystal. And then you have a bunch of warnings and you know, choking hazards and all that other stuff that's usually uh, printed on the back of all the merchandise that we're getting. And you have the Tamashii Nations website link. On the bottom, you have a uh, picture of Sailor Moon with some moons and stars, and then a moon here, and the Figure Arts logo. And then you have, again, the Sailor Moon written in English, and then Sailor Moon Crystal in Japanese. And then on the top, you have another display window that says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Crystal with the Imperium Silver Crystal up here, or Ginzui Show, however you want to say it. And then you have the uh, Crescent Moon at the top, and then some more pearl designs, and Figure Art Zero logo, and you have the Silver Millennium Moon Palace. All right, that's it for the packaging, and now let's take a look at the figure itself. So here's the figure out of her box, and she looks absolutely beautiful. The detail and the color and just everything look amazing. I'm really, really happy with the job they did. So yeah, let's um, take a look at the detailing on this figure. Starting at the top, here we have her uh, Adongo gems and her Odongos, of course. And we have her nicely detailed hair. Has a really nice pearlized effect to it. And it looks really, really nice. I don't know if you can tell from the camera here, but uh, I'm sure when you get yours, you'll be able to see. Um, here we have her feather clips. And if we go down a little more, we have her tiara. 
and then we have our cute little face. Looks just like it does on the show. They did a really good job. Got our earrings. And we have her sailor collar, which is a really, really, really nice glossy uh, royal blue color. And it's the same color as a skirt. We have her bow, which actually has her, uh, let's see if I can get it in there, her uh, brooch, her transformation brooch right there. If you can look right there, you can see it. And then you have her um, um, the cuffs and then the back bow that are the same color as the red on her front bow. And then you have her bodice and gloves which are a nice pearly white and they kind of have a shimmer effect to them when they're in the light. If you look right here you can see the really nice shimmering effect. It's really really nice. Um, and if you go down you have uh, her boots which are a nice uh, red color. They're actually the same color red as the classic Sailor Moon figure art zero. On here they look kind of pinkish but I think that's just the way that uh, my camera captures them but I mean, when I look off camera, they're the same color as Sailor Moon's. The uh, classic Sailor Moon, that is. And then, um, forgot to show you guys when I was showing the hair, but her pigtails are actually more pearlized. You can actually, you can see that uh, pearlized effect that I was talking about just a few seconds ago. And that's really, really cool because um, if you remember on the classic figure arts, the hair was mostly uh, opaque and at the bottom it was translucent. This one is more translucent than opaque. It's slightly opaque, but it's more translucent and then it's colored yellow um, and airbrushed with a pearl gloss. At the bottom, it ha it's, more, it's the same, but it's more clear. If you look here, you can see the clear. It looks really, really nice. And one thing I wanted to point out is that when I was opening this figure, I noticed that she was not attached to the stand. So yes, yeah, she is removable for some of you that are wanting to know. So yeah, she has these little holes in her feet. And uh, you just put the two holes right there and press down and she's on. And yeah, that is the Sailor Moon Crystal figure. And now I'm going to do a quick comparison between the classic figure art Sailor Moon figure and the new Crystal version. So first I'm going to uh, point out the differences between the two figures. Now, besides the obvious artwork difference, there is the um, slight height difference. So, the classic Sailor Moon is slightly higher than the Crystal version. Also, she's a little bit thicker. So, everything on this figure is thin and this one is thicker. So. Also, you have the two uh, stands that are different. This one being a crescent moon and being permanently fixed to the figure's feet. And this one being a circle with a bow on the back and being removable, like I showed you earlier. Also, the colors are slightly different too. Uh, the reds are actually very similar. Uh, but if you look hard, the reds on the boots are actually um, exactly the same. But the reds on the the bows and then the cuffs on her gloves are slightly different. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but um, this one is a combination of glossy and metallic. And then this one is just more metallic. And then the same applies to her uh, 
cuffs and uh, front though. Also, uh, you have the obvious difference of the sailor collar. This one has two stripes, and then this one has three stripes. And then there's the hair difference that I mentioned earlier, uh, whereas this one was more opaque and then this one was more translucent. Now this one does have that translucent part, but only at the tip. And actually, the material used here is actually very similar to what they used. Actually, it's probably the same. Except this one has a little bit more um, of that pearl sheen on it, as opposed to uh, this just being a plain see-through yellow. And uh, also, this one, the Odongo gems are just painted on, and this one, they're actual pieces of uh, see-through plastic. Uh, here she has the pearl feather clips and here she doesn't. Also the chokers are a little different. Here she has a, uh, a little closer so I can show you guys. Um, on her choker she has the crescent moon and then she has the little uh, ornament hanging down that matches her brooch. And then on this one she has uh, just a simple red choker with a crescent moon. And then also, her earrings are different. You have the stars, and then you have the crescent moons, which isn't very well sculpted, but if you look, if you look really close, you can kind of see like a half star going on there. And then the little loops, which I guess resemble crescent moons. And then here you just have the pearls and then the crescent moons at the bottom. So yeah. Oh, and also the tiaras are slightly different too. This one's a little bit more thicker and this one's a little bit more thinner. So yeah, and... Yep. That is the differences between the two figures. And that concludes my review of the new Sailor Moon Crystal Figure Art Zero figure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys!